Sorry about that, I was in the shower. Who is this? <laughs> is Paul there, please? This is Paul. Hey, Paul, it's Jeff. I met you at the open house this weekend. How are you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Jeff, how are you doing? Good, good. Hey, you know, we had a great conversation at the open house. Just had a few more questions I wanted to ask you and, and maybe see if we could maybe find a good time to get together. Oh, okay, what's up? So, you know, um, when we were talking, I saw that you were basically, um, you know, you're seriously looking. You've been out for about a month. Yeah. And yeah. uh, your rental term's about to end. Is that that's correct? Yeah, we just started kind of looking around, so we're not really um, doing anything yet, right? I mean, not making any quick moves, so right. that's why we were just kind of window shopping at the open house. So you're month to month right now. Right. Yeah, my lease is actually uh, just ended, actually. Oh, fantastic! In, um, in May. So yeah. nothing really holding you back there. No, no. We just we just gotta find the right house. But like I said, if um, you sent me that list, we were gonna kind of look stuff over. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm actually working on that list right now. So, yeah. Um, so have you seen any houses in the area that you you really like? You know, in the area of the open house was that the is that your particular area of focus? Right. Right. Yeah. Like I told you, I need that school district, so that's why we were looking in that okay. area. And um, we mean nothing fantastic yet. I mean, one that we liked over on uh, Primrose, but it, I mean, it wasn't um, it wasn't the one. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. And then tell me a little bit more about what's so important about um, buying a house right now. I know you said renting, you know, getting out of that rent and not having a landlord. Was yeah, we owned a house before. Mm -hmm. We had a short sale a couple years ago, so oh, basically. Uh, just get back, you know, get back in the game. Really. Yeah, you know, yeah. I work with a lot of clients that are in the exact same situation. Not a problem at all. Um, so instead of renting, you're just trying to get back into maybe the, the joy of home ownership. And then I also see, you know, so schools are a big factor as well. Yeah, my, my son's um, 10 and my daughter's 8. So we want to make sure that the, the school district that we're renting in mm -hmm. is ideal. We like the schools and gotcha. that's, that's important to us. Good, good. You know, I got some things popping up here that you might like. Um, so you mentioned that you already had a couple other agents sending you lists. Are you getting any value yeah. out of that? Are you seeing some properties you like in those lists? Uh, I mean, here and there, like I said, we hadn't seen it. It's been a relatively short period of time. Right. So we met a couple other agents also at open houses. Yeah. But we're not, you know, nothing. We haven't seen anything yet. Gotcha. Now, Paul, you sound really busy. Are you even having time to check those emails? Well, not, not I mean, uh, here and there. Actually. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, I understand. That's, that's really more of you know, probably another reason we should get together. I can really show you how to zero in on those properties that are exactly what you're looking for in this market. You know, I do actually have some time later this afternoon. Would you be available by any chance? Um, no, no, no. I, actually, this afternoon I gotta, um, I gotta run an errand for work. So no worries, um, no worries. Um, you're gonna yeah. be out and about for about how long? Uh, well, probably a couple hours. Um, and I haven't talked to my wife yet, so no problem, no yeah. problem. Definitely want to get the wife on board. Now, um, have you guys already started working with the lender? I know you said yes, but you were kind of vague on that. No, we we're, we got um, actually fully pre-approved. We send in our taxes and our bank statements mm -hmm. and financials. So, I mean, we really want to. I really want to get in the house before um, school starts again in the spring in the uh, fall. So okay. that's why we're we're really looking to make sure we have all our ducks in a row. Fantastic. Yeah, we Fantastic. like ducks in a row so what? that we can have that done. That's, that's really smart of you um, to make sure that you're getting all that taken care of. Tell me again what mortgage company you're working with. Uh, it's um, United Realty. United, or United uh, Lending. Oh, United Lending? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, we do have some other lenders that we're working with that are offering some great incentives. Oh. Yeah, we should sit down and talk about that when we get together. I'll have that ready for you. Um, now, <clears throat> like what, what, what do you got? Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. It can get a little in depth, so I don't want to get terms and rates flying around. Um, just, just a second. Now, can you send me that pre-approval letter by any chance, so that I can kind of put that and, and start working, and making sure that we're giving you properties you can afford? Oh, what do you need that for? Um, so basically, that's going to help us just. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, it's like it's three seventy-five. I'm pre-approved for. So. Okay, great. Well, that, yeah. that was the biggest question that I had about that. So. Yeah. Um, it just helps us so that maybe if we do find that perfect property, we have everything together. So just some preemptive, preemptive motions. There okay. Oh, like yeah, well, I mean, yeah, that's no problem. I mean, it's, we're pre-approved, so. And you mentioned your lease is almost over. So really the only thing. It's that, over. It's over in May. Yeah. So really yeah, the only over. thing you and I need to do is kind of discuss what you exactly are you looking for? You were in a four bedroom house at a, you know, a two car yeah. garage. Is that kind of what you're looking for in the yeah. area? Yeah. Well, it was four bedroom, three bath, um, 2000 square feet minimum, two car. One or two story doesn't matter. Pool, if it happens, that's fine. 
and at least a 7,000 square foot lot. I mean, I want a decent sized lot at least. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That's what I so, thought. That I saw that note. I wasn't 100 sure what that. Yeah. Was. I don't know how the 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 um the market's pretty. It's pretty busy right now, right? Yeah, very busy. Yeah, so that's why nothing had come up that we saw, mm -hmm. and that's why, I mean, if you see anything, give me a call. We can get together and, you know, Definitely. I'm going to go look at it with you. I'm actually seeing some things right now that I think you'd be very interested in. When would be the best time for me to show those to you? Uh, well, what do you got? You send them over to me. Well, it's going to be that. I want to go through some of the things with the lender and, you know, to, just to save you the most time possible. I mean, can you give me 15 minutes? I can even sneak into your office right there. Uh, well, I mean, today's not going to work, though, so... Mm -hmm. And you also mentioned you want to talk to your wife. Yeah, so, so um, today's uh, Tuesday. I mean, I could do Thursday, probably. Thursday won't be yeah. that. Let me see. Thursday, I can do 2 o'clock on Thursday. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and then you want to just have you and your wife meet me at my office? Yeah, that's fine. We can both come there. Okay, great. Well, I will see you Thursday at 2. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's nice yeah. to finally get to the yeah. Well, I mean, we met at the open house, yeah, but like, briefly, you are yeah, a new yeah. a busy guy. Yeah. So I want to give you a little bit of information first. This is basically what we're going to be covering today. Um, okay. It's it's a little bit of a quiz for you, but um, I'm going to give you the answers, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> we already have it. All right, let's go. Just kind of. So basically, what we're going to talk about today is a, is a plan and a, an overview to get um, you into the perfect house. Okay. Uh, we know we're in a busy market. Um, we know you're really busy. So, you know, our objective here is to make sure we don't waste any of your time. Does that sound like a good plan? No, yeah, it's time's def definitely important because I work until five or six each mm -hmm. day. So, um, because the property's going in my name, it's just a matter of um, uh, me being able to get out there and see the property. Right, and, right, um, right. And make an offer. So yeah, you said you had some properties that you thought mm -hmm. might fit. Yeah, we'll go through those here okay. towards the end. I just want to kind of give you an overview of the process mm -hmm. so that you can kind of see how everything comes together. Okay. And then that's going to give you a game plan so that we can be more reactive in, in, in to the market. Okay. Um, so basically, buying a home, we're going to look at a, quite a few different possibilities. Um, there's townhomes and condos. You got your residential aspect, new construction, and then. You know, there's some investment problems. Yeah, well, I'm definitely not townhome or condos. No worries. Yeah, I don't know about new construction. I really haven't looked at that. Okay, so well, there's always some options there, but there's definitely a strategy. So okay, we'll, we'll definitely talk about how to, how that will best serve you. Okay. Um, so this is basically going to be a, just an overview of the buyer consultation. This is pretty can be pretty overwhelming. This is actually the flow chart of what it takes to buy a home. Mm. So don't worry about this. We're going to take care of most of this. I just wanted you to kind of see that map. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, we bought a house before. It's mm -hmm. been, it's been uh, five years. Right. But right. I mean, we, I've bought a house before. How did? How was that experience? Uh, it was good. It was. It was actually a new home. Mm. Um, so it was pretty easy. The builder did everything. I did have a realtor. You did or did not? Yeah, I did. Okay, I did. great. And um, basically, I mean, it was it was pretty easy. Yeah, it goes off with that hitch. Yeah. If you have the right plan. So. Yeah. Great, great. So yeah, I can see here's everything involved. It can be pretty daunting. So um, our biggest thing that we want to do is we're going to talk about understanding the market. Now, most people, when they think of real estate agents, they think of us as what? What would you say? Uh, salespeople. Yeah, right. Yeah. But we're not. We're actually consulting. Okay. Um, what that means is we help you create a customized plan exactly that fits your needs. It's not really about what I want, Paul. It's about what you and your family need. That, that's our objective. So the other things we need to kind of look at um, is the market effects that we're going to be dealing with. Like most people talk about a buyer's market, which is what you would like to be in when you're buying a home. It's not that yeah, way. Yeah, right. No, right now we're actually in a seller's market. Seller's market. So yeah. nothing to worry about there. I mean, we work with a lot of sellers. We understand the market, so we're still going to be able to get you a great deal. Mm -hmm. um, have you um, seen anything as far as the list of sales price ratios? And no. Do you even understand what that is, basically? Yeah, uh, what a property sold for versus what it was right. listed for. Yeah, see yeah. here, what, what it's telling us is... 99%. So it's pretty close. Yes. Yeah. And um, there's actually some offsetting data that's showing that. What do you mean? It's getting... It's because it's an average. Mm. So if you look at certain segments, you're going to actually be above list. Like, if you're that close, there's a lot of properties that are now selling for above list price. Oh. Uh, why this is important to you, though, let's talk about that. Um, so if you made a, a purchase on a, a $350,000 home, you can expect, on average, to pay 99.2, which would put you closer almost 
you know, a little bit of a discount there, okay. almost three thousand dollars. Okay. So here's where the market really starts to come into play. Do you, what do you think listing inventory is doing right now? Do you think it's up or down? Uh, I don't know. It's actually down. It's inventory's down. It is okay. actually down. Okay. Do you know by how much? Do you have any idea? No. It's actually a little concerning. It's almost thirty-three percent. From the same time last year. From the same time last year. Wow. Yeah. So that means, um, so as far as inventory. 33%? Yes. Um, 33%. You didn't make that number up. I did not make that number okay. up. I can show you the graph. If okay. You want to look at it later. Yeah. Great. So when inventory is going um, down. Right. What do you think happens to prices? Yeah. Demand goes up. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And when demand goes, what do prices usually uh, do? Yeah. So. And, and so that's just kind of what we're looking at as an overall market effect. You know, we're still going to be able to get you the off list price. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's always a little bit of room to work with. Now we get in circumstances where there's not, so you're going to have to decide. Mm -hmm. um, so pre-approval, you talked about this, and I talked about that. We were going to discuss some other options for you. Um, now this is a huge benefit. Okay. Now you, you've already yeah. made the right steps. Mm -hmm. Now the quality of your lender is also very important. You know, working with certain. Um, um, real estate agents, do you think that they want to, do you think that, you know, they want to work with every lender that's out there? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. You're going to want to focus on some good, strong lenders, and they're going to know the history of those. So, um, one of the benefits, though, of being, you know, pre-approved is that it turns you actually into a cash buyer. What does that mean? Well, so you've got a check, like, you've got your finance. It's like, I don't know, you're walking around with your, your American Express card, and you're ready to make so you're, you're ready, you're pre-approved, you mm -hmm. have the money, and, you, and by having the right quality lender, it's even going to give you more strength. There's nothing holding you back. Okay. Right. And then yeah. and this, you're going to love this one. What do you think that also does for it? It saves you what? It saves you money? Close. Money. Yeah. Exactly. And time. So mm -hmm. if you give, um, so it's going to give us a lot of leverage in multiple offers by okay. having a quality lender also understanding the process yeah. and then being able to, and, and based on the market we're in, this is a big strength to have. So we okay. may run a couple of our other, run you through a couple of our other lenders. Um, Keller Mortgage has a lot of incentives right now. But I mean, I already got pre-approved, so. Understood, understood. You're actually the client. Mm -hmm. They're not. Mm -hmm. So my job is to make sure you're getting the best deal possible. And sometimes we like to put lenders against them to see what fat they haven't actually given you yet. Mm -hmm. So there may be, um, Credits, there may be appraisals, there may be a lot of offsetting things that they can give you that they're not going to give you up front until you give them a little pressure. Mm -hmm. So that's just a way to make sure you're getting the best deal on all aspects. Okay. Um, so have you ever bought something, Paul, and then um, you didn't get it because you decided to like play a few games? How did that make you feel? Not good. Not good. Yeah. So the other thing that this does is going to build our confidence level. Right. We're going to make sure that we're going to go in, we're going to be able to strike, we're going to have everything in a row, we're going to get that house. Okay. So, benefits of buyer agency. Okay. So this is basically when you decide to hire me as your agent and I decide to take you on as a buyer client. 100% um, of my um, buyer clients actually choose buyer agency. Okay. Does that what, what's, what are we talking about buyer agency here? So, so the buyer representation, it's an agreement between you and I. We'll go over that in a little bit. Uh -huh. um, but it basically is going to create a fiduciary responsibility for me to take care of you. Okay. Um, now, we already discussed the average uh, list to sales price. That was? 99%. Right, right. So here's another benefit for you. My averages are actually closer to 98. So when I'm negotiating for you, I'm actually getting that price down almost an extra point. Okay. That means more additional savings. For yeah, you. I like that. And that's part of the strategy we mm -hmm. put together. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm also the, able to see, you know how many <coughs> loans I see in my phone? How many? Almost over 200. Now that's through prospecting, open houses, and previewing new listings. So our exposure to what's actually out there on the market is excessive. Okay. So I'm definitely gonna be able to know what's available, and then that's gonna help you focus in on what, exactly what you're looking mm -hmm. for. Um, property searches, I mean, you're getting plenty of those. You know they're popping up all the time like crazy. You can set those to be instant if you want. Um, do you want to know one of the biggest benefits of buyer agency? What? 
is that I can actually answer you in a paragraph instead of just a general sentence. What do you mean? I can really dig deep. When you have questions or concerns, I'm fiduciarily responsible for your best interest in this transaction. Okay. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that you understand it and that you're comfortable moving forward and it's what's right for you. I mean, it makes real sense. Mm -hmm. um, okay. The other way, I'm, yeah, maybe. You know, I can't really get too deep. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very litigious. As far as if I don't have buyer's agents. Mm -hmm. so, correct, okay. correct. It's basically I'm responsible for the broker's inventory more than what you're interested in. Mm -hmm. we, want to, we want to create that fiduciary bond between you and myself. Okay. Um, so <coughs> this, is, this is where it gets fun. Yeah. Okay, where do we find properties and how do I get paid? Okay. So the beautiful thing about this is we can find all these properties on the internet. So we can do a lot of due diligence. Zillow, right? Uh, no. Zillow <laughs> definitely has properties. No, I'm kidding. I know. Yeah. Yeah, the, um, ML, ML, MLS. Yeah. And then what I'm going to yeah. do is actually set you up with a, a more detailed yeah. link. No, I was telling you that one of those, those other agents had, had been sending me some properties. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And when you're experienced with Zillow, when you're looking at some properties, were you, were you finding that when you would... What were you finding that when you go to look for uh, you know, It was weird because when I was looking online uh, versus some of the properties that it got sent to me, mm -hmm. there was like, it was discrepancy. Like I, there wasn't, wasn't a property online that I would see on I know. the list. And How did that make you like, feel? Like, well, well where's all, am I getting all the information basically? Exactly. Yeah. And then frustrated because you found your dream home and it's been sold, sold for a month. Yeah. That's, that's what Well, I initially we did see that one property we liked a lot. Yeah. So benefit. So all of my fees are actually paid by seller. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Which means okay. now you're still going to have lender fees. So this mm -hmm. is more related to the property. So you're still going to have a few fees relative to the lender and your down payment. You know, as far as the commission, that will be paid by the seller. That's no negotiated on their side. Okay. Um, so and we've already talked about information. Mm -hmm. So all brokers have access to to the same information. Right. Right. So you know, as far as that, that's not really the benefit. That's not really where the value is. What do you think the biggest difference is in value? That would, like, is speed. Okay. How fast can I get the properties to you and then get you Between the Between you and another agent, you mean? It's resources. Okay, so how's that? Like um, how? So we, we have a client guarantee that um, I will get you in the house when you need to see it. I just can't guarantee that it's gonna be me showing it to you. Mm -hmm. okay. So, you know, we'll leverage our team to make sure that those doors are open and then we'll strategize to make sure you get the best deal possible. Okay. Um, but it's definitely team leverage because of how fast and dynamic this market is. Okay, um, so just, uh, just speed to be able to get out to the property. Like the whole thing, yeah. contracts, negotiating, making sure that our offer's first. That's just, it's really speed of delivery that is winning the okay. deals. Okay, all right. Um, now, let's talk about some other property types that you're gonna see out there when you, I know you've been driving around and mm -hmm. as you start looking for, you know, have you noticed that when you're looking for something that's for sale, all they start popping up everywhere? Yeah, 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 I've seen for sale by owners. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, I don't know, you know, that's a little bit more needle in the haystack. Mm -hmm. um, you come with, end up coming across some that could be Definitely. a match for clients, Definitely. or how does that work? So basically, the first thing you need to do, Paul, is call me first. Now, the okay. reason for this is, I can get for sale by owners to pay my commission. It's all a negotiation. Okay. So don't think that you found this perfect dream house and now I should go hire an attorney. Mm -hmm. You want to know what the biggest difference between us is, an attorney and a real estate agent is? What? What do attorneys charge by? The hour. Right? That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. That can get pretty expensive. Yeah. So would you rather know, would you already rather know your exposure and know that you're getting the professional service? Or would you like to just say, well, I hope this doesn't take too long and then just settle with whatever you can afford? No, yeah, I can see I can see the value of that, yeah. And that's why you just mm -hmm. called me first. I take okay. care of all of this. All right. Mm -hmm. um, new home builders, we discussed that earlier. The builder also pays all my fees, okay? Now, I know you're going to go look at new builds and open houses. It's okay. Maybe. It's okay. What I want to do is I'm going to give you these, okay? These are open house guest passes. You okay. just pass them out. Like when you walk in there, you just give them one uh -huh. and just walk on. So this could be free popcorn, or what am I going to get? Here? Possibly. Yeah. Okay. You'll probably get less free stuff with that. I guess you're going to get a cheaper house. <laughs> you're going to definitely get a cheaper house. You're going to give me a cheaper house? Cheaper house. Okay. All right. I'll focus on upgrades, not popcorn. Okay. I like right. that. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, so the, the main benefit of that is because we want the on site sale, we want them to call, we want them to call me, Paul, not you. Okay. 
and this, the biggest benefit to this is because um, you're being represented, who do you think the on-site salesperson works for? The, the builder. The builder or right. seller, that's correct. Right. So that's really where we got to buy that. So, um, so this is really where it starts to get fun. Paul, we're going to talk about you know starting to get back into the field. Now, on average, do you have an idea about how many homes the uh, average home buyer likes to look at? No. How many do you think you'd like to look at? I don't know, not, not, I mean, a couple dozen maybe? A couple dozen, know. yeah, that's fair. I mean, yeah. so the best news about this is, and you don't be surprised if you start finding houses immediately, because that's my job is to put you on houses that you really like and right. fit your criteria. Sure. So if you look at one or two houses and you think that's the right one, I mean, that's, that means we did our job. Okay. On average for us, a buyer looks at about five. Five homes. Five. Wow. So in that first day, if you see a home you like, it, feel free to pull the trigger. It's normal. That seems fast. It is. Yeah. That's a dynamic market. You've got to seize the opportunity. So, you know, our job is to get you quality properties fast, get you in them fast, and then we close fast. So it's 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 going to be something. Speed. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Back to speed. Um, now, here's the most important thing that I need you to do, Paul. You are not going to offend me. I need you. I need to have very, very honest feedback on everything we do. Because this is supposed to save you time and money. If you don't like something, I don't want to take you there. It's fine. It's not going to hurt my feelings. Mm -hmm. I don't own the house. My job is to serve you, to make sure you get the best feeling. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to give you this. I'm going to go through the entire contract. You don't have to do it right now. Mm -hmm. But this is just so that we can move quickly. Okay. So I want you to get acclimated with... Um, this is yeah. the contract that yeah, we're going to do. Before, yeah. yeah, so okay. take that, kind of look at the figures, but I want you to understand this because when I send this over, and it's, it's going to feel like the ninth hour. I mean, we're going to find the house, we're going to get ready to buy it, I'm going to send this over, and then you're going to have questions. I would rather address those now so that we can really maximize on the speed. Okay. Okay, and this is just a standard document approved by the Texas Real Estate Commission, so. Okay. Um, now let's talk a little bit about the, the process. You know, we're gonna use earnest money. This is the check that you're gonna write with the offer. Um, they'll cash it at the title company. It's held in escrow at the title company, um, third party. It's just right. good faith. Yeah. Um, we're seeing, um, have you, do you kind of know about how much people are paying in earnest money right now? No. It's usually about 1%. So 1%? So expect to write, you know, you know a check about 4,000. Yeah. yeah. So, and you have that cash available, yeah. right? To make earnest and option yeah. money. Um, now the inspection, that's another part of the process that's very important. This is where we make sure that what you're spending all this money on is really a good, strong Yeah, I definitely house. want that, for sure. Right. Now, one thing we like to make clear, clear up front, the inspection is only for major items, Paul. Major things. We're not nitpicking them on cosmetic items and light switches. Okay. We're looking for major systems, electrical, roof, slab, air conditioner. Those are... Basically, what we can't see when we preview the house. Paint? No. No. Okay. We'll negotiate that in the price. Anything we can see, we negotiate in price. Okay. Anything we can't see, we negotiate off the inspection. Okay. That keeps. That it. makes sense. Yeah. Um, and then we have a seller pays for that. No, we pay for that. Oh, and the pay. reason for that, Paul, and the reason why that's important, we want that person to work for us. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have the seller pay an inspector to tell you what their house is like. Yeah. Do you see where that alignment yeah. might get a little sticky? Yeah, no, I can see that. So the, the $300 that we would pay to tell that the full half a million dollar, almost half a million dollar investment, uh -huh. it's definitely in our best interest. Okay. Um, now, as far as the appraisal, I was talking to you about some of the incentives of Keller Mortgage. They're actually doing the appraisal fee. They're paying for it up front. So that would Wait, be who? Keller Mortgage. Keller Mortgage? Yeah, Nikki over at Keller Mortgage, great lady. Oh, okay. She'll so they pay for the appraisal? Right now, up front, they're paying for it. It's still a closing cost. Oh, okay. You just don't have it's to just out of pocket. Mm -hmm. Most lenders are going to charge you that fee during the transaction. Uh -huh. So you have to watch out. And what we're seeing on average, it's around $400. Could change a little bit size it of the take, house. Yeah. So mm -hmm. um, what's the best part about this appraisal? It's going to guarantee you're not overpaying, Paul. Right. That's important. Sure. So it's like double checks and balances. We yeah. negotiate really hard. Bank comes in, bank says price isn't right, and then what happens? We renegotiate mm -hmm. to make sure that you get it. Um, when do you pay? Usually, you pay before closing. You're gonna pay, the bank will call you and be like, hey, here's the appraisal process, we need you to do it. But on Cal Mortgage, I don't, I don't have to pay for it. Cal Mortgage upfront. is doing it up front, so it's not actually becoming a closing delay. Right. And so how much fun it is when you see that, and they're like, hey, we got some conditions on your appraisal, you're not gonna close, and it's the last week. Mm -hmm. Can you see how putting that in the front might be in your benefit? Sure. 
that thing, you know? So, and then who do you pay? You're gonna pay the lender. So that's something that another third party is involved to make okay. sure that you're getting what you need. Yeah. Um, loan approval, boom, you got it. Full loan commitment, Paul, this is it. That's your reason to celebrate, man. Mm -hmm. Nothing, we got it's the like house, we got the loan approval. It's good. Like, what do we do now? Yeah. Move in. Yeah. All right, yeah. great, great, great. So, all your time and efforts have paid off. You bring your cashier's check to the closing. Um, they'll tell you who to make it payable to to make sure that's, that's all title company communication. We'll be in line with that to make sure you're taken care of and the okay. check's made payable correctly. You're also going to need a valid ID. There will be acceptable IDs if you don't have a driver's license that valid is that. Uh, we'll also go through that towards that time. Okay. Here's it is. Here's your benefit. You're always working with a specialist. That's that's how we build our team. So there's knowledge, availability, and communication. So we're always going to keep you in the situation and on top of things so that you know what's going on. Okay. And and we base it around you and your time and what's important to you. Mm -hmm. Does that sound like a pretty decent plan? Yeah, that sounds good. Great, like great. So this is my example of what I call a star realtor. <coughs> if you notice here, they're pulled in all these different directions. This is one individual trying to maintain all of these different tasks that are required to get you into a home. Mm -hmm. So if they're spending all this time on all this back end stuff, how much time do you really think they're devoting to you? A lot of different directions. A lot of different directions. Yeah. So how we change this is in our star program, you're in the center. And all of our resources are used to make sure that you're getting everything you need, uh, communication-wise, um, service-wise. If you think about it, you know, and you want to talk about it, you know, we'll definitely set a time to go through that as well. Okay. So these are the different. So our goals, Paul, give you the best price, the fewest hassles, and the time frame. You know that you desire. You know you're looking to move fast. We definitely can accommodate that. But it's really not necessary. If you want to slow down, we're fine with that. We're all about. So if you have changes, just let me know. We'll accommodate to make sure that you're taken care of in every way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's some additional values that the team offers. Um, movers, moving trucks, you've got the team leverage. Love it or leave it guaranteed, Paul. If you don't love the house, we're not gonna force you to buy it. There's no forcing here. We're consultants. We're making sure that you're getting what you need for your family. Customer appreciation functions. We'll be sending out invitations to some of the parties we have. Um, discounts on carpet appliance, tiles, etc. I mean, we've got resources for everything. I'm actually your one-stop shop. Anything you can think of real estate related, I want you to call me going forward forever. Whoever needs our help, we'll take care of it. And that's just more value. Mm -hmm. just better value. So this next part is where we just ask her a few more questions and then we go over the buyer representation agreement. So do you have any questions before we uh, sign the buyer representation agreement? Um, well, what were you going to discuss here? The buyer rep. Oh, the buyer. Oh, well, uh, here's the thing. I mean, um, my um, uh, my wife's not going to be able to look at properties with us. So I was I was just going to say then, um, you know, me being able to see a property and then going out and showing her later, you know, that that's probably because she's not here today. Mm -hmm. So uh, she's working. Um, right. But uh, it, the loan's going to my name. And everything's going in my name, so right. um, I think that's, uh, I just want to make sure we're on the same page with that. That's usually not a problem. I mean, as far as saving time, our recommendation is that we set some showing schedules um, where you can both be available. Yeah, I'm not sure, I mean, I'm not That sure. makes sense, I can understand. Yeah. Can I tell you why that may be in a benefit to set some showing times that you're together? Why is So I'm worried about you finding your dream home. Trying to find a then time for your wife to, to then view the property as well and then mm -hmm. that home no longer being available. Mm -hmm. So what we'd have to kind of do is devise a, a strategy around that. Mm -hmm. Now if she was willing to sign off on whatever that you were interested in buying, that's that's one way. You know, we always have the option period to do due diligence. Mm -hmm. If you guys, you know, are on the same page about your needs and wants, we can definitely accommodate something like that. But can you see the value of why you would want to not um, maybe make a two-step showing process. Yeah, so maybe just schedule some days or something. I mean, definitely we can do that. What we like to do as well. I don't want to be. Able, I don't want to lose out on the property. I mean, it, so it, flexibility it, is going to be important. Okay. Um, and it's really yeah. going to be about the right house. I mean, if it's coming across and it's vanilla, I mean, don't worry about it. But if it's coming across and you like this is the yeah. one, we're going to have to act like it's the one. Yeah. So in. Uh, so 
So as far as that is concerned, do you think you'd be okay with maybe creating a showing schedule? Well, and I think I could talk to her as far as um, flexibility in her schedule, work schedule. Great. To, to get out early maybe some uh -huh. days and, and figure it out. But as far as that um, um, agreement, mm -hmm. I haven't heard that before as far as like a buyer agreement. Really? Yeah. And how many uh, agents have you spoke with? Well, two others at the other. At, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. They didn't talk about that, right? So this is this is what I was talking about is is how I can protect protect you, fiduciary. Yeah. So maybe I take a look at it. And of then course, I you can take a look. Get at back it. to you. Um, the the main thing about it though is it's you know the position that you're in, Paul. Now this is a contract for me, not for you. Okay. This basically binds me to you, fiduciary, to make sure that everything I do is in your best interest. If you're not happy with my service, you're you're free to walk away. Okay. Um, and you can show me where that says that in there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. I can show you where that. But says. I, my my um my concern, yeah, that, I think that was my concern is that you know I don't I'm not getting tied into anything. If you can find somebody that can do a better job for you than my myself or my team, then then I would want you to go with them because it's about you, Paul. It's so does this about. bind me to you? I mean, is that is that no, basically it binds me to you? It okay. binds me to you. So basically, it's going to put my interests in alignment with your interests. Still, look for the agent of your dreams if you want. If you feel that we're not pulling our weight, please give me at least an opportunity to resolve it. But I understand. Okay, so I other understand. agents sending us properties and stuff, like? You use as many resources as you want if that's what's gonna make you feel comfortable. My job is to put you in the correct place at the correct time and execute. Mm, okay. Um, so, yeah, because my, um, my brother-in-law had bought a house mm -hmm. and, um, and uh, I don't. He didn't sign. I don't. Pretty sure he didn't. He didn't do one of those. Understood. Yeah. I mean, there's different. You can do it without it, right? So. I mean, do I need to? Do I have to sign that? Yeah, you have to sign it. All my clients <laughs> sign it. <laughs> okay, but I mean legally, I, don't, I mean I don't. Legally, I, you I have to sign it as well. It's it's broker required as well. So this is basically um, something that's going to protect you. And the fact that they didn't want to use one is a little concerning. I don't want to lead into any assumptions on other people. Mm -hmm. um, but as part of our professional policy, you can see, you know, we're very professional. We have a proven plan, and we don't, and we want to allocate our resources to people that want our resources. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're not comfortable working with me, I understand. I understand. But my job is to make sure that you get the best service possible, and this document will um, will guarantee that. Okay. Well, I like your plan. I mean, I, I, it's none of the other agents even came close as far as spelling out how that, you know, what what um, a strategy. Or a plan, so I like all of this. Um, I think maybe just talking to my wife about it. You know what? Yeah, definitely talk to your wife. My recommendation: let's just try it for a week. Let's just try it for a week. See how it goes. If you're not happy, we can reconvene. Okay. I guarantee you'll be very impressed. Okay. I'm 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 okay with that. Okay. Great. Okay.